Good afternoon, class. Uh, today I'm going to present based on this talk, the timely user experience. And it's going to be take from uh, all the guidelines and the, the information I'm going to talk about is going to be based on Aki's Chemist Warehouse on their online uh, let's say and their website. So in my presentation I have six content. So I'm gonna talk about the time, the timely user experience, the system uh, response time, also the chemistry warehouse, expectation and attitude, user productivity, and also the frustrating experience. So as I said, like this presentation will be focused on timely user experience from Chemist Warehouse New Zealand. Because uh, this uh, company is gonna is an uh, Australian company, they based in Australia, but some of the brands they like uh, run here in New Zealand. And the first thing is the time timely user experience. So in this graph, based on their website. And so the quality of service. So quality of service like being like you can see from these uh let's say these output. So the quality of service in traditional way, like you like go directly to the store and do all the like buying the medicals and other things. And also Facebook, Instagram and their website. So the reason why like uh, uh quality of service in traditional way have 60% because like so like most of the people let's say the age around 50 40 60 they just go directly to the store they they don't like they don't have time like to go online and all those things but why do, like the Facebook have the highest percent in quality of service because if you have a page on Facebook, let's say a business. So you can actually like create an advertisement. So you can like put your product there, you can advise, advertise like, so when you like promote that product, you're gonna be like most of the people in the whole world, you're gonna see about it. But why, why not on, on Instagram platform? Because why on Instagram, all you have to do is upload photos. So the only thing you can access to their website is based on the link. So when you edit your profile, you already know you have a chance to put a website. Website, let's say you are a link on your Instagram account. And that's why it's just only 30%. So there's nothing much to show on Instagram, but just only the link. So the reason why the quality of service in their website has got the highest percent because most of the people can go directly to their website, they can access, they can search whatever type of uh, medicine they, or they want to use or they want to buy. And yeah, that's, so the, the daily user experience like is based on how you experience on those while you are in that particular website. So. The next thing is the model of the system response. So response times impact. So in this slide, I have put the percent each in store, Instagram, and also the website. So it's like present the same thing. So it's like in store, you can go directly to the store, and you can go to whatever like uh, category, like the type of medicine you want. That's why it only have sixty five percent and 45% for the Instagram. So, but for the website, you don't have, you don't have to like walk around the store to find the type of medicine you want. All you have to do is just search. If you have the right the right name or for that product, you can actually like say, but let's say it's not 100%, just only a few so we can like uh, update the website. So, on the website, I find this thing. So the first one when you go to the website, they provide so much information. And 
what I found out, none of them is like. So if you see that map on that uh, particular feature, so from our uh, expectation, if we click something like that as a map, it should like go directly to the Google map. So they can show us where the, where that store located. So so what I found, I just click on the on that feature. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't like like they came up with some response methods. They this is not uh, this is not like to show something for the user, so we can understand this is just a picture, as not uh, like let's say the navigate you can go through the map. So the only thing is work there is that green button. So put now. So for my like experience, so. So if you go to that to their website, you will say book now. So what I'm gonna like going to book. So if you book, then you come to this one. They're so gonna give you like the nearest store to your location. Once you got there, they just give you the time and the date. It doesn't show like any information. What are you going like to see after you book these like this type of day and uh, the time you are going to visit the store. So. If you know like, like if you know the type of medicine you are going to to buy or you you don't have like to go for that uh, book now. You just go directly to the store if you know the location. Yeah, the first time. Because like what we see here, if you just go to the name of the of the store, you have to go back to another tab, find a new link, and try to find uh, the address. So actually like so on the map and all those things. So hold the expectation and edit it. So if you find it so hard, so we don't have like we're not gonna be like go to that website again. So from this graph, so like if you got more experience on their website, then you have some individual personal personality difference. So if you find it very difficult, you're not gonna be going to that website anymore. If you find it like very easy to find something you want from their website, and the class will be different. So the next thing is the use of productivity and privacy in my system response time. So from this graph, you can see let's say the time frame, the rate. Of how system respond in that particular time. So from nine to twelve o'clock, let's say in the morning. So that's how the the system like respond when someone going through their website. Let's say around one o'clock, twelve to one o'clock. Let's say people going to lunch, so no one going to like go to their website and those things. But at the end of the day, like we just come with forty percent. Let's say that's the, like the amount or the percent of people that go to the website to find what they're looking for. So the frustrating and experience, like I said before, I was like, well, for my like expectation, if I click that feature, it's gonna go directly to the map. But when I do that, it's not. And the thing is, like, they they provide all the information. Through the website, at the end they have this message. So this message so we currently don't uh, do not process all the online in New Zealand, but they already have the website. So why they put these on at the end of their uh, website? So they said you must visit the uh, chemistrywarehouse.com.au, but here in New Zealand, we just go to warehouse, chemist warehouse, dot, and set. So, that, so these will like make the, the user like, like confused or frustrated between like going to their website. So my recommendation is, these are based from the SRD or system response time uh, guidelines, based on what we, we learned here in our course. So. Let's see, for the first one, we have the user prefer sort down response. So 
Once we click on that uh, picture, it doesn't show anything. It should like came up with some uh, response message, like told us, like or like show us some direction in the website, so we can like continue, like and give us some more time, like to go interact in their website. And also the thing is, uh, it's depend on them based on their like networking, their hardware, and all those things. They can increase their server uh, capacity, network speed, or let's say the one thing is the online help. They don't have that. Also the online tutorial. So the experience, like from the user point of view, so in the website is endless. And that's it. Thank you. Are you recording? Yeah. Perfect.